Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Is it now? Is it someone else that I don't know? Detective. The one that double crossed me. How have you been? It's been only a few weeks, and yet you decide to double cross me. When I told you so specifically not to do that. So, what is it exactly that you want to talk about to me? <laughs> well, you should probably know about all that information that I gave you. After all, I was over at your place making that plan with you because you are one of my main suspects to be in this plan. But no, 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 no. You decide to turn against me. Bring my information to your stupid pieces of shit as a cover-up for your own story. Make yourself the hero, huh? and have me to blame for it. And now I'm here, in handcuffs, cuffed down by the floor, by my ankles, because they see me as highly dangerous. You ever felt like that, detective? You ever felt like a danger to people? <laughs> well, I could guarantee you this. You are a danger to people. Yeah, you're a danger to people, all right. A danger to people in a way that you don't think that you are. You are a officer of the law. You help the people who can't help themselves. When in reality, sometimes you get those people mixed up with the ones you think who are endangering people. And you decide to use your lawful force and arrest them, or even put them down. People make mistakes. <laughs> People make mistakes. <laughs> That's funny. Coming from you, people make mistakes. That's just a riot. Oh, well, there's a lot of things people do to make mistakes. I know I've made a few. I've made a few mistakes in my life. Well, as you can see, the mistakes of my past are on my face. I don't think I told you that story, Detective. Would you like to hear that story of, uh, well... How I got my smile, my beautiful smile. You see, I was not a very happy boy when I was younger. My father, an alcoholic and an abuser to my mother. He was the biggest piece of shit that you could ever have seen in your life. I wasn't really happy for what was happening. And people keep telling me that life would get better if I just keep a smile on my face 
things would brighten up. But I never really wore a smile on my face because I couldn't. I just couldn't. Seeing my family go through that was torturous. But in one night when I spotted my father doing those horrendous things to my mother, my mother just took it and didn't say a word afterwards. I think that was the breaking point of myself. In short, I got down to the kitchen and, well, gave my got myself one of them sharper knives. You know, the ones you would use for, like, cooking chicken or pork, you know, cutting them up and whatnot. I brought it up to the bathroom that was close to my bedroom. And, uh, well, I kind of just put that blade right in my mouth, like my finger is, right? And then I just went up and up and up and up. I went on the other side of my mouth and did the same thing. Blood was spewing from my mouth. I was grunting in pain, obviously, but afterwards, afterwards, I had this permanent smile on my face. I was permanently happy, like I am now. But intrusively, my mother came into the bathroom to see what I was doing. And she knew about my sadness, my depressions, my anxieties, all that sort of stuff. So, of course, as a motherly instinct would to check up on her baby, she she did. And um, I looked to her with the bloody knife in my hand. And I told her, Look, Mommy, I'm smiling. This is what you wanted from me, right? To see me smile. Right? This is what you wanted. She looked at me in disgust. She looked at me in horror, like I was some type of creature she'd never seen. She ran back into her bedroom, locking the door, and then I eavesdropped on the door. I walked over. And you know what my mother told my douchebag of a stepfather? To grab his gun and shoot me dead. My mother didn't care about me this whole time. And you know what I did that night? I bust through that door and I stabbed both of them where they'd hurt. Right in their hearts. And afterwards, I gave them the same smile that I have exactly on my face. Afterwards, that night, I couldn't sleep, so I burnt my eyelids off, and now I permanently can't go to sleep. That's why my eyes are a little bit glazed over. And that's how I became what I am today. So you see, Detective... If you were really a hero, if you were really an officer of the law, a person who protects others, who can't protect themselves, then why didn't you help them? Why didn't you help those two? Don't give me that excuse. You know exactly what you did. You know exactly what you could have done. But you decided to walk out of that room because you were scared. Scared for your own life. Scared that it would happen to you. It's too late for you now. As soon, as soon as I get myself out of here, <laughs> you're going to be one of the first people I visit. 
and I've escaped before. You know this, because I visited you before. I didn't do a single thing to you. <laughs> <clears throat> but now our deal is off. You're no longer going to be the last one I see. No, 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 no. You're going to be the first one I see once I get out of here. And I will make sure that you permanently go to sleep.